Nikki, just uh, you as a driver, I've always wanted to ask you about coming back out of retirement to race for McLaren and then winning that championship. Is it true that you said, like, don't pay me very much, just pay me as a PR man, and then if I show how quick I am, then you can start paying me as a race driver again? No, Ron, uh, Dennis asked me after two years not driving if I want to do a comeback. And um, in the beginning I was not interested because for two years I took care of my airline start and really had no interest in Formula One whatsoever. And then um, I went to the race as a commentator like you do, television, and there was a huge start line shunt. And I looked down and said, oh, this is good. So my whole, you know what I mean, the, yeah, yeah. the brain changed. Yeah. I was ready again to take chances and take risks. And I was amazed by this new development. Then I went to Monza and I saw Watson going off in the Lesmo with the McLaren where he hit so hard that the whole engine and the gearbox just flew away. And again, I was like, Phew, good accident. You know what I mean? The mentality changed. And then Ron called me and said, do you want to drive a car? It was a coincidence, uh, because he did, he did not know in what stage I was getting to. And uh, that made, then he made me come back. And then I had to negotiate. And the argument from Marlboro were, we do not know uh, how good you're going to be. And then I have to say, they gave me a, a contract for three races and another three races. And if you do not drive properly, then the contract is finished after three races. So I said, fine do that and the third race I won so contract then was the whole year and then the year after I had to renegotiate and said now you have to pay for driving <laughs> <laughs> so what are you saying Nikki that the risk was one of the triggers that went off in your mind when you've been driving for so long before uh, with Ferrari and my whole career I came to an end because I was bored there was no challenge it was only painful and the motivation was gone, very simple. And um, then I retired. And then I was for two years not interested at all. I didn't even watch the races. And then suddenly the, 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 what you have in your body, I, I don't know how to call it, it came back. And when it came back, uh, I, off I went again. So I wanted to come back and prove to myself, after two years not driving, can you do that? And um, as I won the third race, uh, I think I did a good job. Well, did you do a good job? That was the understatement of the year. Very fast, very meticulous, very, very good at driving opening laps as well and staying out of trouble and planning a race. That was the Nicky Lauda signature. The problem was in the in 84, this was the stupid turbocharged engine where you had for one lap 1,200 horsepower and for the race, 600. Because you could turn the boost up and then the boost down again to, to have the fuel limitation. And I hated this system. So therefore, I, did not, I didn't really like the, these, these stupid engines. And therefore, Alain out qualified me all the time. So in the first race, he was five tenths quicker. So, boom, what's going on here? Then I improved my speed, he was three tenths quicker. And this went on through the whole season. So I had to change my strategy. I said, I'm going to work for the race. And then I had the tires sorted out, the balance was right and whatever, so I could win the championship. Thank you very much, Nicky. Pleasure.